such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. Boy, oh boy, it is going to be a, a fun four years. If Biden actually becomes president, as always, for the next several months, I'm going to encourage people to go to our website for such a time as this dot today, for such a time as this dot today. We are going to <laughs> talk about the all wise, all knowing Joe Biden and his wonderful, wonderful pick for lead civil rights prosecutor in the DOJ. But before we do that, as always, we try to add a basis of Scripture. Acts 17, 26, and he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place, that they should seek God and perhaps feel their way toward him and find him, yet he is actually not far from each one of us. From one man he made all nations. Biblically speaking, there is but one race, but we know the world. The world has made several different cultures, whether you're black, white, or Asian, they now say there's different races. There's technically one race, the human race, with several different cultures. Well, anyway, Biden, in his wisdom, has chosen, has chosen the lead prosecutor for civil rights in the United States of America, Tucker Carlson, introduces her to the country. Here we go. Look, look. Here we go. Clark wanted to explain her views on race science. Quote, please use the following theories and observations to assist you in your search for truth regarding the genetic differences between blacks and whites. End quote. So you know it's going to be interesting. And it was. Quote, one, Dr. Richard King reveals that the core of the human brain is the locus coeruleus, which is a structure that is black because it contains large amounts of neuromelanin, which is essential for its operation. Two, Black infants sit, crawl, and walk sooner than whites. Three, Carol Barnes notes that human mental processes are controlled by melanin, that same chemical which gives blacks their superior physical and mental abilities. Four, some scientists have revealed that most whites are unable to produce melanin because their pineal glands are often calcified or non-functioning. Pineal calcification rates with Africans are 5 to 15 percent, Asians 15 to 25 percent, and Europeans 60 to 80 percent. This is the chemical basis for the cultural differences between blacks and whites. And five, melanin endows blacks with greater mental, physical, and spiritual abilities, something which cannot be measured based on Eurocentric standards." End quote. Let that sink in. Melanin endows black people with greater mental, physical, and spiritual abilities. No, that's not an editorial from the final call, Louis Farrakhan's free newspaper. That is a direct quote from the person Joe Biden is about to put in charge of this country's civil rights laws. I am so speechless. I had to uh, ask for help. And so we have, for those of you who are familiar with our roundtable, we have our resident scholars, Prof. Abby and Prof. Chris, and a picture in the corner will be there to depict their whiteness. Um, what say a ye? Who, who would like to chime in on the wonderful, wonderful wisdom spoken from this woman? Prof. Ab Abby, go ahead. Oh, well, when, my th when I hear things like this, my first thought is always, the devil is alive and well and working very, very hard. <laughs> it, it, and in this case, to cause a race war. I agree. <clears throat> I, you know, um, it would be, it would be entertaining to break down the specifics of it, but it is, it is very sad to, to hear um, torturing of 
science and biology and 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 really God's wonderful creation to try to create and and multiply division amongst people that that biblically doesn't exist. You know, when I so I'm I'm as much as as James I, and and Abby as much as I want to poke fun at it, I'm I'm actually heartbroken that this mindset is now being mainstreamed under the new administration. But but remember, this is the same science that brought you transgenderism. <laughs> it's the same scientific world. It's not science. And for the life of me, I, can, can you can you help explain this to me? Um, first of all, I just want to be fair. I just want to let people know because I'm fair. Uh, the other side would say neither one of you all could dare challenge the wisdom of that woman because you don't have the melanin to match her superior intellect. I'm just saying that is what she, she— Or in my brain. Uh, in your brain. Okay. Neuromelanin is a dark pigment found in the brain, which is structurally related to melanin, right? And what it does, and, and its function— is in higher concentrations, uh, increases with age, suggesting a role in neuroprotection or a big fancy word for saying they think that this actually helps to stave off diseases like Parkinson's disease because people with Parkinson's have 50% of the amount of, of neuromelanin um, compared to similar patients of their age. So it actually is a protective, seems to be, the function seems to be more protective against um, neural degradation, the degrading of your um, your your brain cells. For, for, first of all, wait, how does it how does it play in the cognitive ability of someone? One and two, what's the source of what you're reading? Wikipedia. Oh, boy. Well, I, I looked up neuro. And it's Wikipedia. And then the next one is is she mentions that um, that it's it's found in the locus coryllus, and the locus coryllus is a part of the brain. That the function of it is uh, influences sleep wake cycle, attention and memory, behavior and cognitive flexibility, creativity, decision making, emotions. Is that Wikipedia oh, also? Okay. Yes. What? Posture and balance. In other words, it has nothing to do with there's, – there's no correlation between how much you ha might have versus what your abilities and talents are. In, uh, okay, so I want to say two things uh, because, Pastor James, you and I were just having a conversation about, about you don't want to go to battle on the other person's battlefield. I wouldn't even go so far as to dignify that yeah. with, with any, <laughs> with even looking it up. It is so blatantly transparent what the purpose of that is. And I mean, there is a proverb that says, do not answer a fool according to his folly. Wise in his own eye. That is so blatantly racist. It should be, it should be just smacked down on the basis of racism. But I do believe all things are pointing to that this administration is going to revolve around race. And by the time this is over, I truly am afraid that we are going to be in a full-blown race war. And I'm sh I am shocked. You know one thing I have not heard? I have not heard the recruiting numbers for the KKK and the Aryan Nation. I would not be surprised if their numbers have not doubled, tripled, quadrupled. If I am a young white, from strictly from a a worldly standpoint, if I'm a young white male and I'm, I'm hearing this foolishness, hearing this, heck, I might not have been a racist, but, I'm, but you're making me out to be one. If I'm constantly being told I am genetically inferior to whites and Asians, are you kidding me? Are, are, are you kidding me? And not only that, remember, if you are white, you are by definition racist. Oppressor. You are an oppressor. You you got to do you got some work to do, honey. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, I just finished reading White Fragility, so that all that nonsense is fresh in my mind. 
and you will never get the hours you wasted back, Abby. I'm sorry. It, it, it was horrible. <laughs> but, again, it was it, 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 but, but again, Christians, then let's, let's bring it back to the Christian perspective. Don't fall for this. Nope. Don't, don't fall. This is absolute foolishness. Um, and you're right, it, it's, ju it's just foolishness. Go, wait, wait, hold on. Go. People, we all come from two people. And what does God say about it? And you're right. Bring it right back to the Bible. And that's what this is. It's, it's, it's meant to divide us, to take us Christians specifically away from what our, we're called to do, to preach the good news to the world. We are not called to save the world from itself. We are called to tell them your actions and your behaviors and your sin will lead to judgment. And the freight train of judgment is coming. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the answer. It, it's just, I, I just, as we close, I, I just, as a Christian, you see these things going on. You see, this is who Joe Biden appointed to be the chief prosecutor in the DOJ for civil rights. This woman is insane. We all have kooky, kooky things that fly up here every once in a while, but she didn't have enough sense to keep that to herself. She said it out loud. This is going public, and they're just putting it out there. Uh, we truly are living in an insane world and in dark days. But Christian, I, I would, again, what I'm saying over and over and over again is, Maranatha, Lord, please come back. Stop the foolishness. It's just getting ridiculous. Such a time as this.